Let's talk a little bit about, about um, your co-stars, uh, starting with Ed Asner as Lou Grant. Oh, well, that teddy bear is fabulous. It's a fabulous human being, and he's a fabulous actor. And uh, he was a good old friend. You know, I don't, we don't see each other too much now because we're so far away, and my wife, we're, we're on the road half, the, half our lives, most of our lives. And he's, he's very, very dear, and he's, a, he's plotting, you know, he's got this, this way about him. He thinks and thinks and thinks and thinks. He's so funny. And he was great to be with. He was like an older brother. And what about the Lou Grant relationship with Murray? Well, I think, you know, they had a very honest, good relationship. You know, Murray knew that he was employed by Lou. I mean, so you, you have a certain kind of respect there. And, uh, but they had fun together whenever they were out, you know. Uh, Lou didn't hold anything over him. It was sort of like just peers. And, you know, you get, you get people who work together have got something special going. You know, all those hours every day and so forth. And uh, I was kind of sad when Lou got divorced because uh, Priscilla Morell, she was such a wonderful actress. And of course, she died some years after. But, you know, that gave Ed another opportunity. And then he and Sue Ann, some of those scenes are just, Ed is just fabulous, you know. And, uh, and Murray liked him. Let's talk about Sue Ann, played by Betty White. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sue Ann Nivens. Betty White, I have said this for some years, should be declared a national treasure. Betty White, when I first came out here in 1957, I think it was, she had the Betty White show. And I was on the road in Barry Manilow's show just three years ago in Atlanta when I played the Fox Theater. and. I came home one night and put on the television, and there was the Betty White show. She turns around like this, and she looks almost exactly like she does today. So Betty was like in the beginning out here of all these kinds of television opportunities, and she made the most of them. She's fabulous. She's the, I've never seen anyone quite just look at a script, put it down, and then do it. She's just got that mind photographic mind, and she forgets them. Like, she is one of the wittiest ladies. I think she's one of the most talented people. Around. And I think she should be declared an American treasure. And, uh, but Sue Ann. Sue Ann was a pain in the royal butt. Uh, Murray, you know, she was a pain to him. But he loved playing with her because she was a challenge. One upsman, upsmanship, who was going to get the best kind of line out regarding, I mean, she loved to play with my bald head, you know, and I would deal with other parts of her body and making fun. And uh, Sue Ann was a great, well, well, the truth of the matter, when Valerie and Cloris left, that's a major vacancy. Rhoda's not there anymore, and Phyllis popping in. But when Sue Ann showed up, it was a whole new thing. She came in for one show, and the rest is history. And she and Alan used to watch every Friday night. Alan Ludden, her husband, you know, passed away, unfortunately. Uh, and they loved the show. And when they gave her that one shot, the rest is history. She just was something else. And she's very creative, very creative, very easy to work with. She's just the best. Ted Knight as Ted Baxter. Um, he and I were friends since 1957. And we had been through a lot of things together, you know, because we were the same agent. And then he introduced me to my first business manager. We had our first little houses at $24,000 at the same time. Now they're worth four hundred. And uh, Ted, are we talking about Ted Baxter or Ted Knight? It's Ted Knight and Ted. Ted Knight was one of the best dramatic actors I've ever witnessed in my life. I'd seen him do dramatic things that just put you away. Inherit the Wind, he did the Hornbeck character. He was sensational. I saw him in Compulsion. He played the district attorney. He was sensational. He traveled the country in the, uh, the Lincoln-Douglas debates, two-character piece, with the Royal Dano was Lincoln, and, and he was Douglas. It was incredible. He was a great dramatic actor. 
once Ted Baxter hit, and it was so funny, that part of his career was over. He no longer was considered a serious actor. They don't know how tough comedy is, you know? And so he couldn't get any more serious roles. And I think that bothered him a lot. I know that bothered him a lot. He would enter a room and they'd say, hey, Ted, and they'd point and laugh and so forth. And they were laughing at Ted Baxter, not Ted Knight, but the same name. You know, Ted, Ted, it's the same. And uh, he was one of the greats. He was one of the great guys I've ever known. And uh, we miss him a lot. I tell you, his wife, his widow was very close to us, Dorothy. We've been through. We used to go out, at, when we shot the Mary Tyler Moshe every Friday night, the three guys and our wives would all go out, you know? And uh, Dorothy was right there, and he and Dorothy had been sweethearts since uh, college. And uh, Ted used to work in Albany, New York, and television was in its infancy. And one of the shows he did was. Uh, the uh, Windy Night. He was a character called Windy Night, a little children's thing. And he had, that's where his puppets came in. And you know, the puppets were used in, and he used in the other series too. That's where they started. And he was just, he and my wife used to sit there and laugh and scratch. He was a great guy. I miss him a lot.